Hey, what's going on everybody out there on the internet? My name's Novik and welcome back to more of the Elder Scrolls Online 1 Tamriel. Um, last time we were doing some stuff. I don't remember. It's been a while. <laughs> I say it's been a while. It's been like a week since I played. Uh, which, I mean, isn't that long, but uh, I've been really busy as of lately. Got a full-time job, so like, finding the proper balance for recording and whatnot has been uh, a little difficult. I did actually end up getting a, uh... Subscription to ESO Plus, so now I have all the uh, DLC and I can actually dye my uh, my gear color or my uh, costume color, which I want to go through my costumes real quick just because. And I have a ton of um, DLC stuff too, just for the record. Uh, let's see here. I've got a lot of stuff. That I can like die and make it look really cool. Like the shrouded armor, probably. That'd look really cool. Like died, and I'm pretty sure the Thieves Guild armor would look really cool died too, so. We've got loads of stuff. And like I can actually I can actually go to a dying station and have things uh, be like that. But anyways, we're supposed to talk to Naramo, I think is his name. So uh, let's do so. I've reassembled a spider, but I must be able to control it. That reminds me, did you find the crystals? Yes, I have them right here. Splendid. Now, I just insert them into the rod like so. By the way, I hope you can destroy this mechanism if it attacks us. Look, I'm sure I can. Let's see here. I'm just hoping it's not going to. Oh, wait. It works! I knew it would, of course. Uh-huh. Into the tunnel you go. Now to get that door open. Uh, yeah. I guess. At long last. The Sark. Come, we'll talk of our next move inside. Uh, I guess we will. Alright. I'm kind of wishing I ran into a different... Or another sword. Because, like... I'm not a big fan of axes, so do wielding like a sword and an axe... Not my favorite thing, but we'll get to that point eventually. As you see, Headman Bosek's trust in my skills was not misplaced. Nor was my faith in your prowess. Will you assist me on another task? What do you need? Despite the age of these ruins, I suspect the usual defenses are in place. As I am averse to danger, would you explore the ruins to locate any Dwemer generators inside? Alright, tell me what I need to do. This control rod will keep our new friend loyal to you. I suspect the generators have been damaged over the years. You'll need to escort the spider to each and bid it to repair them. I guess. I just gotta do what I gotta do. Let's go. So it's just gonna follow me, right? Ooh, okay. Yeah, let's go into stealth mode real quick. This thing doesn't know I'm here. Uh, also, with uh, ESO Plus, the best thing about having it is, like, I gain a little bit more experience. Uh, like, 10% more experience. Uh, just naturally, which is awesome. I get all the uh, DLC and stuff like that as well. I'm trying to decide if it's completely worth it though. Um, seeing as how I don't usually, you know, I just wanna, I just wanna see real quick. Uh, where is ESO Plus? Uh, full, ac uh, full access to all DLC game packs, crowns to spend in the crown store, access to craft bag, which basically just takes all of my crafting items and puts them in the craft bag. Uh, costume dying at die stations, 10% bonus to experience game, crafting inspiration gain. Bonus to trait research time and gold acquisition. So I get like 10% more gold, pretty much 10% of everything. Like more of everything. Which I'm totally okay with. Completely and utterly okay with it. Oh, and I leveled up to level 4. Perfect. Alright, so I'm gonna put some more into stamina because, you know, that's just how it's gotta be. Teleport, strike, or shadow? That's the question. Or, go to armor, and put on that dexterity bonus, right? Oh, I've got two skill points, okay. Then I'll do one of each, then. Uh, we'll go to dual wield. Maybe I should do flurry. You know what, no. Let's go, shadow cloak's gonna be one of my abilities. And then we're gonna put a passive on for my medium armor. Because I'm a huge dex kind of build guy. Plus, I plan on wearing, like, medium armor all the time. 
So, I mean, it's, it's just going to help out in the long run. <laughs> I'm just wondering, should I put this to like 5 or something so I can press 5 and go invisible? Yeah, you know, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Uh, how do I do that? I guess I can't do that right now. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, wait! Wait, what? Oh, okay, so my shadow could increased. Awesome! You know, it's kind of, like, it's kind of funny. I don't know what I was trying to say there. Um, well, I was trying to say kind of funny, and it just wasn't working. Um, Skyrim comes out, I think, next week or in two weeks from now? Skyrim Remastered. So, uh, I'll be playing that as well, but I'll also be playing, you know, ESO, so it'll be like a little compare and contrast. Obviously, Skyrim's going to play significantly different than ESO will, but... I mean, hey, it'll be fun, right? It'll be fun. That work? All right, that worked. Let's go here. This guy knows where I am. You know what? Here, let's just make sure he doesn't. And then, what? Blam! Maybe I should use assassination next time I do that. I feel like maybe that'd benefit me even more. Yeah, let's try that again. Sorry, I'm trying to download something while I'm playing this. Like, I'm downloading something on my PS4 while playing this on the PC. So, I'm, it's just a... Let's go invisible and... Boop! That does not do as much as I was hoping for. That's fine. The goal, however, is to become a super, like, either stealthy or DPS-y dual-wielding badass. That's the goal. That's always been the goal, it's always gonna be the goal. Alright. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, you know what, that reminds me. We're playing one Tamriel, which means all the enemies are gonna do slightly more damage because you scale to them. That's right. It all makes sense now. Let me just go to the middle, alright. Look at the middle. Uh, Invisibru, I will stab you. Dwarven spider, you're going down, buddy. And well, bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Perfect. Oh, there's another dwarven spider. You're going down. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, so over. It was so over for this guy. All right, Rama, what's up? Did I just make a short character, or is this guy just tall? Excellent work. The Sark breathes again. Now for a personal project. How would you like to earn a little more coin? I'm listening. As you see, we are not the first to enter the Sark. In truth, I accepted Bosek's request to explore these rooms only because they contain something I want. Something I believe others died trying to obtain. What's that? Knowledge is the greatest treasure. The Dwemer guarded their secrets as a king protects his gold. In Bizarre, the Dwemer hid a set of schematics, mechanical drawings that I greatly desire to possess. Alright, and you need my help to find them. An easy task. Those earlier explorers likely retrieved them, only to find themselves sealed inside the Sark through some treachery. Their misfortune is my, our, gain. We must find where they perished. Fine, let's go. But let it be known. There may be I know you're being selfish, alright? I'm just gonna say goodbye. I know you're being selfish. This is only gonna benefit you. If I die, then there's a problem. Alright. If I die, someone tell my mom I love her. So, the schematics were here. Were so, being the operative word, right? I doubt they escaped. Oh, hello, another dwarven spider. Boop, 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 boop. Oh. Oh, no, he's gone. Oh, surprise attack. Boop, boop, boop. Are you just going to sit back while I fight these guys? 
Is that really what you're doing? Coward. Ooh, dwarven cash. The dust layering the bottom of this chest has been disturbed. Whatever the chest held, those contents are missing. Oh, that guy must have died holding him. Oh, okay, that makes sense then. Adwar claims to be true. Uh, Adwar's claims proved to be true. We found the island. I'm not reading that. I have a terrible accent. I can't do it! As much as I would like to. Uh, avoid traps, right. Or sneak by constructs, left. Let's just avoid traps. I don't want to have to sneak by anybody. You know? Oh! Up and over? No. Oh, I gotta go around now. Wait for the smoke to clear. Wait for the smoke to clear. Sprint for it! Oh, gosh! Oh, gosh darn diggity. I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm dying. Oh, I'm dying big time. You know, I'm just gonna run through this script. Yep. That was like my safest move right now. <laughs> just going right through it. All right. Oh, I remember going through this before. Yeah, I died. Because I wasn't like the proper level for it. It wasn't like it wasn't like a huge level requirement. I just, I was very dumb about what I was doing. I think I was playing it on the PS4. So I know I have it on the PS4. I just never play it, like ever. I like religiously do not play that game. I don't know why. Actually, I know exactly why. It's way better on PC. Graphics are way better, and gameplay feels more appropriate on PC. I guess is my own little two cents here. Alright, Shadow Cloak increased to rank 3. Dude, I am leveled up Shadow Cloak like it's nothing. Oh, hey, Narama, what's going on? Ah, oh, there you are. I was just coming to, uh... Help you. Yeah, don't lie. I hope you found what we were looking for. As promised, I have your drawings. The schematics are mine at last. Splendid. This place is me in your debt. I have an idea how I can repay you. You know, this would be nice if I used magic. I don't use magic. All right. Well, time to get back on the road with good old Skittles, my Imperial horsey horse. Although I think we passed some quests on the way over here, or going through the ruins, so I'm gonna backtrack just a little bit, see if we um, passed any of them. Uh, we probably didn't, actually. So all this backtracking is probably pointless. But I also want to go into town again and see if I can find myself a... Um, A die vendor thing? A dying station? Because I want to see what dies I have. Um, and if I can individually die each set or each piece of my armor. Because I just, I want to experiment for a second, alright? So I apologize. I just, I, it's something I want to test out. Uh, if this would load. If this would load. My computer's been having some loading problems. Oh, there it is, dying station. Okay, cool. Uh, loading problems recently, and it's literally just because uh, I've been editing a lot on this PC recently too. So it's just it's slowing down because it's like, dude, just let me breathe for a second, all right? Just let me breathe. I never let it breathe, ever. All right, but where's the dying station? Right here. Dying station. Um, let's go to costume. I can. I think I, I think I tall putty tat. I think I tall putty tat. Um. <laughs> what a beautiful night. Ooh, that would not look that bad at all. It's not gonna cost anything either, and I can remove it if I want to. So I'll have this applied for a quick second. I just want to see what this looks like. Ooh, ooh, I like the way that looks. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> guys, you don't understand. You don't understand. Black and blue is like my color scheme, all right? 
It is like my favorite color scheme. Ooh, is this gonna be good? Ooh, a little flashy, a little flashy, but it looks cool, and that's what matters. <laughs> okay, um, what about this? This is the night, so oh, a beautiful night. Uh, you know what, I wanna keep that erased, I wonder. Okay, that's a little bit brighter if I put it in, okay. Okay, and then if I put the white here, does that change that? It does, it does. Okay, and my character won't stop spinning. Um. Yeah, yeah. I mean, come on. That's like the right kind of blue for this too. It's just gonna make him look even sneakier. And since I'm an ESO Plus member, if I really wanted to, and that's just, it's just an if, if I really wanted to, I could go back to the black and brown. Like it all works, all right? Blacksmithing, ooh, hold on. Hold the phone. Oh, hey, it's another thing I'm supposed to be doing. You know what, I'll do that quest next. You know what, yeah, that, I'll do that one next. Gained one, oh sweet, perfect. One skill point complete. I still need to update all of my uh, add-ons because I still haven't done that. Um, what should I do? Assassination, maybe? No. Teleport strike? Oh, you know what? Here, let's put that to five. Maybe I want to. I think. Hold on, veiled strike. Slash an enemy, dealing magic damage. Attacking with Veiled Strike while stealth or invisible. Stuns the enemy and sets them off balance for four seconds. That could be super useful. So here's the question. Do I want to be stealthy? Or do I want to kick all sorts of ass? That's going to drain their health. Um, do wielding. If I do flurry, that would make sense, right? Increases stamina recovery by 2% per piece of medium armor. Soul magic. Thieves guild. Imperial skills. Alchemy. I can upgrade all this stuff if I really wanted to. I think I want to do teleport strike, but at the same time, veiled strike would be really nice. But the problem is, shadow cloak only works for 2.5 seconds. Um... Teleport strike would just take me right into the fight. You know, I'm gonna do teleport strike. I always do. Uh, I may eventually get rid of Shadow Cloak. Because I don't know. Uh, I'll probably use it when I do the Thieves Guild content, actually. Right now, it's not as useful to me. And that's just the, the way is that innocent. is. Hey, how's it going, lady? You okay? Irene? Edmund Bosek threw my sweet Chakan into the grave. Your Jakar was buried? No, no. The grave is the prison in that cave ahead. Jakar described it as a ghastly place. Traps block the exit, and most criminals roam freely inside. Bosek accused him of stealing a gem, and this orc monster threw him in. Did he steal this gem? Gods, no. He's rich. He's a prince from Glenumbra. He promised to whisk me away from my family and make me his princess. But now he's going to die in the grave, while I'm forced to return home. I'll see what I can do. The Khan said the gate in the cave is never locked, because no one ever makes it past the traps. Alright, that works, that works. Now, I'm just going to take a second to marvel at the uh, actually pretty decent color palette. Alright, I get it's leather, so it doesn't really fit, that'd be blue. But we're just going to say it's, uh, it's some dyed leather, because that's exactly what it is. Um, so next time... We're going to go ahead and do the Innocent Scounds rule. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I'm liking ESO Plus so far. What are you What are you thinking so far? I'm getting a little bit more experience. I'm almost level 5. Um, I'm going to go up here in the meantime, in between videos, and buy myself a, a couple swords. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys all in the next video. As always... To be continued.